Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today. So in today's video, we're going to be killing Sarachnus for a full hour to see the experience, the loot that we can get and see how many kills we can get in an hour. I also want to get my KC up a little bit. Now, what is Serachnus? Serachnus is the mother of the temple spiders. It is a mid-level boss found in the Forthos dungeon, and she can be killed as part of a spider slayer task, which is really cool. So players will need a slash weapon or a knife to be able to access the dungeon. This is what the boss obviously looks like. Its combat level is 318. Now, what can you expect for the drops? So the drops is an average of 27,000 GP per kill. Um, the rare drops, I guess, would be the cudgel, which is one out of 384. Now, what this is, is it's a level 65 crush weapon. So it'd be interesting to get that. It is only priced at about 150,000 GP. Some of the other drops are just some alicables. We got some runes, some nice seeds in here, herbs, and just a bunch of other random supplies that can be dropped as well. Now. Another really cool item you can get from uh, Serachnus is the giant egg sack right here, and it's a 1 out of 20 drop rate. Now, what this is, is it's a sack that you can actually use to get 100 red spider's eggs, which can be great for Iron Man accounts to sit in and camp here. And then there's these tethered pages, which you can actually trade in for 1,000 GP each, as well as you get a chance to get a grubby key to open up the grubby chest. So there are some cool little interesting items in here, as well as the little pet, which is 1 in 3,000, which would be so cool to get that okay let's take a look at the gear that i'm going to be bringing so with this you want to have as much magic defense as possible now full carils would probably be the best here i unfortunately do not have the bottom so i'm going to be rocking the ancient chaps we got the nezi not face guard fire cape amulet of torture rada's blessing dragon defender the osmonton's fang uh, ferocious gloves primordial boots and the ring of suffering so I, I focus a lot on dps as well as magic defense and then for the spec spec weapon i bring my dragon Again, Warhammer. Now, as for the inventory, I have my spec weapon right here. I bring a super combat potion. I would say between four and five prayer pots or super restores. Fill the rest of the inventory up with sharks. And then at the bottom right here, I've got the Book of the Dead with some death runes. And then in the divine rune pouch, I've got blood runes, soul runes, cosmic runes, and fire runes. Now, these are used to be able to cast the... Um, greater skeleton to summon thralls or also the greater ghost can very uh, help you a lot during the fight as well as the death runes i bring along for death charge which every time you cast this when you kill something you will get some uh, special energy back which can actually help you get more kills per hour other than that i bring the xerix talisman to help me get there the wilderness sword can be really helpful to cut through the webs quickly and then a teleport to get out of there Okay, so I'm going to show you guys on how to get there. So I use the Xerix Talisman to go to the Xerix Glade. And then from here, you're just going to want to walk completely west. Passing all the magic trees up here, passing the farming patch, and up to the Forthos Dungeon. So we're just almost about there right now. And then obviously just go and enter the dungeon. You might have to hop worlds a couple of times because this is a pretty busy boss once you get down here put on prey from melee because these temple spiders can hit pretty hard and there's a ton of them around and this is where the wilderness sword comes in handy because you can slash these webs instantly if not bring a knife but you might not get them instantly so the wilderness sword if you have it bring it and then there's some more webs that you have to slash open right here and continue down the path here slash the last little bit of webs before the boss and this is where you're going to be entering the boss's lair. Now, as you can see, there is a guy in here. So I'm going to hop worlds and uh, we'll begin. Well, after hopping like five to six worlds, we finally got a free world. Now, you can go ahead and set up these tile markers if you like and make sure that you stay in those squares as much as you possibly can. So I'm going to start by drinking a super combat potion and I will get my dragon warhammer ready to spec. Put on from prey from melee and then also piety. And then we're going to enter their room. Now run into the middle as quickly as possible. When he hisses, put on prey from range. And he basically has you stuck right here. Once you get back up to him again, you can put on uh, prey from melee. And then obviously dump your specs in. Of course, we're not going to be hitting much here. 
and then put the fang back on hiss again put your prey from range and move over to another corner stay in the boxes as much as you possibly can back up to melee distance prey from melee it's as easy as that it's a very simple easy boss now when these two minions come out this is where you want the um the mage defense because this blue guy can actually do a fair amount of damage to you so make sure that you have the mage defense but as you can see you're not we're not taking too much damage it's pretty good so far all you have to do really is remember when he hisses to kind of just put prey range on when you get back up to melee put on prey from melee and it's as easy as that we're actually doing a decent amount of damage in here and uh just try and not take damage if you need to eat eat i try to use one to two sharks every single kill but uh it's as easy as that and we're almost done our first kill pretty simple now <laughs> no way I was not expecting that man that's really funny of course we get that right away okay so now where do thralls and also how does getting the death charge help out in this fight so i'll quickly show you that right now so we're going to enter the boss again now right when you get in obviously just summon a greater skeleton and he will help you along the fight doing extra damage so that's how that guy helps right in here so next you want to do the death charge and once you do that when you kill the boss you'll actually get more uh of your spec back so make sure that you actually use the spec to make it worth it so yeah you, we should be able to easily kill this guy in about 50 seconds so yeah one thing that you really need to focus on though is when he hisses to put the prey range on because you can actually take a decent amount of damage when doing that so we'll just run up here and try to get as much dps in as possible it is a very simple boss it's kind of relaxing in a way and i want to just get this to as uh, high kc as i possibly can and maybe we'll get the pet early we did get the cudgel early as hell but uh yeah we might not get as lucky on the pet but it is a really overall a very chill and easy boss to do and to learn it can be really good for low levels to actually make a little bit of money so uh yeah we're gonna actually do this today for a full hour and see the experience and see the loot that we can obtain in an hour so i'm actually pretty excited to do that it's obviously off to a really good start already but uh yeah oh we messed up there as you can see you can take some good damage if you if you do mess up one more tip I want to give is when you're in this hissing stage, this is where you want to eat and also drink your potions because uh, you, when you are actually doing the melee damage to him, you want to just do as much damage as possible and then in the hissing time, that's when you can eat and drink up your potions because uh, you're kind of just stuck there anyways, not really having anything to do. So try and eat and stuff in between. Okay, so when he does die here, we should get our nice spec back. So yeah, as you can see, we gained 15% spec just for killing him. So it can come in super handy. Okay, so I'm going to reset the loot and also reset the experience. Track it for a full hour. Obviously record if anything interesting happens. And we will be doing this for a full hour straight. So yeah, I will see you guys in just a little bit. um okay another one <laughs> how lucky am i with this item bro i can't even pick it up jesus christ okay okay so we've got three minutes left so i can get probably two or three more kills even um thralls definitely help out a ton here but the biggest thing for me is honestly just making sure that you don't mess up the uh the prayer or like if you switching back in between between the hiss stage you really need to not mess that up because you can take some serious damage here so the tip that i the big thing is i have is when you're running back put on the prey for melee because uh I, I find when i don't do that he hits me a lot harder and then i end up not uh, lasting as long but i've there's been a couple times where I've gotten like 12 kill trips. It's just been absolutely crazy here so far. Um, but yeah, overall, I've been really enjoying this boss. I find it a lot of fun and it's a lot better money than I honestly was thinking. I didn't think it would be as good as it is, but you guys will see that in a few seconds here. But the specs also do help a ton. 
But as you can see, I messed up the, the uh, prayer there and took some unnecessary damage. But uh, yeah, I do think it is a fun boss. I like the fact that the kills are so quick and just seeing the KC go up and up is really cool. It kind of reminds me of like Kraken in a way. But uh, the drops, like, you know, you see like 50, 60k here and you're like, oh, it's not that much. But you kill the boss so quickly that it just really does add up, to be completely honest with you. I don't know if I've been super lucky, but yeah, it's been pretty good. I was debating on even switching out the spec for the Dragon Warhammer because it's so inaccurate a lot of the time, like it doesn't hit as much as I would maybe like it to. I was wondering if maybe a DDS would be maybe better option here, but I don't know, I'd have to see that in the future. I definitely will be coming back to this boss. I am enjoying it, like I said, like a decent amount, but uh, yeah, we've got another 50 seconds, so I guess this will be the last kill. All right, last kill. Let's see what we get. I also like the death animation. I think that's freaking so cool. Adamant or 89 KC we're ending it off on. All right, so the hour timer is over now, and the XP actually kind of was decent so we got a total of 84,000 experience in the hour which is not too bad at all 6,000 magic from casting obviously the death curse spell and the greater skeleton resurrection which does help a decent amount 58,000 attack xp and almost 20,000 hp experience as well now as for the loot it actually was really good 1.34 million g we did get a little bit really lucky i guess i should say we got two of the cudgels but in the hour i only got the one cudgel which was 237,000 gp so even if you take that away it's still over a million gp per hour which is this is like a very low level boss that probably like a lot of people could do very low level accounts could do this maybe they wouldn't get as many kills per hour but still a million gp almost an hour for a very low level boss really surprised me um the other big drops were the egg sacks which is awesome i got four of them in the hour which is a total of 400 red spiders eggs we also got four of the grubby keys adamant ore dra red dragon hide blood runes soul runes a bunch of herbs a bunch of gems and some alkables some dragon bones this is a really good boss to camp for mid low level to mid level iron man accounts you're gonna get a ton of great resources and also you could get the uh, cudgel which would help you a lot for a nice crush weapon early on in the game as for main accounts it'd be fun to go for the pet it's an extremely fun boss uh, you can just stay there for a very long time like i like i said i was getting like 10 to 12 kill trips sometimes if i really messed up it would be like still like six or seven kills on the trip which is just awesome i love bosses where you don't have to bank as often so yeah i would definitely come back to Sarachnus and uh yeah let's just quick quickly take a look at my collection log now 89 kills we got two cudgels that's pretty crazy and a total of five egg sacks but i would love to finish this one day get the pet in the jar um yeah the spider boss is pretty cool and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video today and i will catch you in the next one see ya later